Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I would like to share this butterfly woman with you and um, in this video I like to show you all the steps that I made um, to create this woman um, so that you can follow and yeah try yourself and um, create your own face like this. The first thing what I did was um, I drew the outlines um, for the face. Um, I can't show you that in camera because um, I'm not so good in this and um, yeah I, it took me a long time and yeah so I did it out of camera. Now um, I'm trying to find the position for the butterfly in her face and um, yeah that was a little bit difficult too because um, I would like to create um, a little bit of an optical illusion and I was not sure um, where um, the right position for this butterfly was so I did very thin lines um, yeah that I can correct them later and um, then I started with the eye with one of the eyes and um, I colored this first with um, watercolor uh, pens um, yeah so that um, I can um, blend them with a normal water brush uh, as you can see here and um, I did this very carefully because um, yeah the eyes I think are the most important part of such a face and um, yeah so um, I added uh, one layer after the other and started then um, with coloring the um, wings of the butterfly with a yellow uh, yeah very light yellow and um, I tried to um, put more color to the areas where the shadows um, of the face and the butterfly will be in the end. Um, yeah, you have to um, try this out perhaps on an extra paper, um, how this color reacts with water. As you can see, I um, mixed um, the first layer with a little bit of orange so um, that I um, get here a little 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 bit of dimension in this first layer. Um, then I let this dry and um, yeah I started with the next part of the wing of the butterfly and as you can see here uh, my paper has um, such little waves. If you use watercolor paper that would not happen but I um, have this normal sketchbook with um, copy paper in it and for me it's okay I am um, I know it's not perfect and yeah um, but um, if you iron um, your paper between the layers when they are dry um, that will work too and for me mm, sometimes it's a little um, yeah a little spooky effect um, here you can see the the ironed paper after the first layer and these little waves um, they create um, their own dimension for me. Um, I know that's not for everyone very um, artistic or beautiful but um, yeah I think um, that gives the picture a little bit more structure and yeah. Um, my reference um, picture was a face from this um, street art artist that I showed you um, a few days ago. Um, his name is Finn Duck. He has um, street art um, pictures all over the world on very big buildings, sometimes um, on a roof uh, from a big building. And um, yeah, um, his face was um, yeah, my reference for this idea. And um, I added this butterfly by myself because I thought, um, yeah, that would um, fit um, very nice to this face. In the whole um, project, I added um, the layers and lines and yeah, the details very carefully um, because um, in the beginning I um, yeah I had no clear um, picture um, uh, behind my inner eye uh, how this will turn out. So um, first I thought um, this butterfly has to be yellow. And um, as you can see here, I tried to add um, some red contrast color. And um, yeah, while I did this, I thought, oh my God, um, yeah, she looked 
a little bit like uh, she had a, a very bad accident um, <laughs> in her face. And um, yeah, I, I was not very um, happy with this. But um, yeah, when you add um, those colors to um, a layer that uh, you have done before, so um, as this yellow layer, you can't erase... Um, yeah, the, the color of, of the next layer, uh, because that would um, destroy your paper. So um, I tried very carefully to add this um, a little vintage green to um, the edges of the uh, butterfly. And um, I think um, you can't see that so nice in this uh, camera light. Um, I recognize that um, this would be a nice color for, for this um, butterfly. So, um, yeah, when I got this decision, I added more of this um, green and um, <clears throat> I left those circles um, white because um, I wanted that um, this face, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, like little... Mm, optical illusion that uh, her face comes through this butterfly so that you not really know where exactly is this butterfly. So I think for me um, that was a little trick because when you do this um, intentionally um, it would look um, yeah like it is wanted exactly like this and <laughs> you don't have um, so much trouble with all those um, shadows and little things um, that would create um, a realistic butterfly on a realistic face. So yeah, I, I hope you can understand what I mean. Um, yeah, um, I, as you can see, I um, jump um, a little bit through this picture. Um, and yeah, I added um, those layers not in, in a real order. So yeah, if I took this green pen, um, I did it... Uh, yeah, for all the um, places where, where the screen has to be. But um, yeah, as you can see, um, I um, try to... Oh, it's so difficult for me to explain. Um, I try to do this, this whole thing. So um, not first the eyes, then the wings, and then um, this layer and this layer and this layer like it is shown in other um, art tutorials where you learn um, how to paint a um, realistic butterfly or a realistic face. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, this helped me a lot um, to jump um, over this picture um, so, um, yeah, that I can get an image in my, my brain and, um, yeah, I don't know if you can um, understand that for yourself. Perhaps um, you have an easier job when you do um, such things. Um, yeah, then um, I took my um, black pen and um, I thought about that very, very long. Um, when uh, is this moment um, that I can take this pen? Because... Um, it's a water-soluble um, pen and, um, yeah, when I um, uh, add this um, black color and um, a little, little, little bit of water comes to it, then I, I have a big disaster on my page. And so um, I decided um, first um, that I only do this um, little black parts of, of the eye and then I started shadowing around the eye. And, um, yeah, for me, that was a very, very um, interesting experience. And i like to share it with you. Um, when you work with um, watercolor pens, please make sure that you have all the layers that you like um, on your paper before you start shadowing um, this whole thing with a, um, yeah, a pencil. Um, because um, when you try to add... Um, more of those uh, watercolor pens um, on top of this um, shadow layer uh, that will not work because um, the surface of the paper uh, will get very th uh, smooth and um, yeah it's not um, so easy to add um, more color afterwards 
So uh, yeah, I stopped this video in between and uh, yeah, had a cup of coffee and then <laughs> I decided um, to add more black and more shadows and uh, yeah, I was a little bit nervous because um, yeah, at this point um, I was not sure if this uh, would be a woman in the end or a very big disaster. Um, especially this eye I'm working on here um, at this point of the video, uh, it was horror. It was a real um, horror show for me <clears throat> because um, the most faces I, I um, drew before, um, they were not on this, um, from this perspective. Perspective, is that the right word? Uh, perspective. And um, yeah, when you... Um, make this uh, for the first time it's it's uh yeah you feel not very comfortable um <laughs> um yeah mm, the next step was to shadow the wings of the um butterfly and for this you um need to have a very clear um idea from where the light comes because um in this uh case the light um yeah it's it's not so clear from where the light comes because um, of this optical illusion, but um, I uh, tried to um, yeah take my face as the re reference and the shadows of my reference photos. So um, you can um, very easily find um, a reference photo on Google or Pinterest or wherever um, a photo of your um, own photo book. Um, and take this as a reference and look where the shadows are. Um, I know very um, many people do not um, mention this in their videos. And first I, th I thought, what the hell is going on with these shadows? Why am I not able um, to um, yeah, uh, create a little bit of an unrealistic face? And then um, I recognized that all is about shadows. All these problems are um, coming with these shadows. And um, these uh, white uh, stumps that you can see there, um, that are, um, yeah, some very, very helpful tools. Um, you know that I'm not a friend of expensive tools and I um, do everything on low budget, um, but those, um, yeah, I bought them on Amazon and I'm so happy with them because with your finger or um, a Q-tip or something like that, you would never in this life um, can create such smooth shadows like I'm doing here, especially on the mouth. Um, yeah, it's very fine. <clears throat> if you buy um, a set of them, um, that would be very... Um, very good because um, there are different sizes and when you have um, bigger parts like the face shadows um, or um, something um, yeah some shadowing for the the hair for example you can use the bigger one and for the eyes and the mouth um, you can use the smaller ones um, and as you can see here um, for the mouth I uh, yeah I had a little trouble with it because on my reference photo there were um, very um, big white parts and and yeah I thought okay um, the upper lip um, always has to be a little bit darker than the lower lip because um, yeah um, when you look in, in uh, your TV or on photos in magazines you will um, always find um, pictures where the upper lip is darker. But, uh, yeah, in my reference photo, this woman had uh, lipstick on her mouth and um, I couldn't, um, yeah, find those areas where the, the shadows had to be because of this. Um, this mouse looks um, a little bit strange here. And, um, yeah, there's another reason <laughs> why this woman looks so, so um, strange. But I figured out this um, nearly at the end of this uh, procedure and I will tell you at the end of the video. Um, another um, for me very important part um, <coughs> is, excuse me um, is the shadow um, under the mouth. So um, yeah 
on the on the bottom of the face and also this shadow be between the nose and the upper lip um and uh yeah i put uh, very um much time in this um as you can see here because um yeah i as i mentioned before i um added those layers very very carefully um because when you add too much of your pencil color um it's not so easy to erase it um yeah The next step for me was um, to shadow the neck. And um, yeah, for this, um, I figured out that it's very important um, that you um, do it not so carefully um, because you need um, much more um, dark color in the neck because it's, yeah, oh, because of the light, it's very dark there. And um, then I tried to. Um, yeah, create a little dimension to this holes in the butterfly. Um, because of the waves in my paper, it looks uh, a little bit strange in this uh, video. Um, but um, therefore, I also, uh, yeah, try to imagine from, from where the light comes. And then um, I took this blending tool and um, only added a pencil uh, color to the holes. And the body of this butterfly, yeah, I think it's not a masterpiece. <laughs> I looked at so many um, butterfly pictures and, and people who did uh, watercolor butterflies on YouTube. There are very very good tutorials um yeah but my problem was um it uh, should not um it shouldn't um look like a cartoon but um it it um yeah shouldn't look like a realistic uh, butterfly and that was the pro problem and i tried to find a way between this uh, two um, kinds of of painting yeah, and um, then um, the problem was that uh, the right um, part of the face was, uh, was too light and um, I added more and more layers of, of um, black pencil and then I um, made my little trick. This water-soluble pen is a very, um, yeah, it, there comes very much ink uh, out of this uh, pen and um, I added this um, this ink from the pen and then I um, took this blending tool to go to get um, more dark color because my um, pencil was not dark enough for the right side of this face and um, I think for me it's very important to do this carefully but um, enough of shadow and um, yeah yeah um, I think for me, one of the best um, YouTube um, artists is Karen Campbell. Hi, Karen. <laughs> I learned so, so, so much from you. Um, if you ever see this video, thank you so much. Um, because uh, I think I, I know um, every of your videos. And um, yeah, there are so many um, tips and tricks um, that you uh, yeah tell us. And um, I try to... Uh, realize them here um, for my face. I know um, it, if you know Karen Campbell, you know that she um, draws those whimsical uh, faces more the like uh, yeah the, the, all those mixed media girls that are not not so realistic like uh, my pictures here. But of course you can um, you can uh, uh, use all those tips. Um, that you get from other um, artists and other tutorials for a realistic face or um, a cartoon face or a mixed media girl or a whimsical face or whatever. Um, yeah, then my best friend, oh my God, are eyelashes. I think eyelashes are the biggest bitches in this world. <laughs> 
Sorry when I th say that, but eyelashes can destroy everything you did. You you can sit hour and hour and hour on your desk and then you do the eyelashes and, and everything is destroyed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have to figure out... Um, um, a good way to do that. Um, if anybody who watched this video has a tutorial about eyelashes, about realistic eyelashes, um, please leave a comment and uh, a link to this tutorial or whatever. Um, I would be very happy to uh, get some tips about that. So, um, yeah, um, in the very, very uh, end of this um, thing, I decided that she... Um, has to have hair. Um, during the whole process, I thought, okay, I leave it like this. She has no head, she has no hair, and it's, um, yeah, something like um, a, a face that's not uh, finished or something like that, and I want it like this. But then I can't go to bed uh, before I did this, uh, yeah, a <laughs> little uh, spooky thing here because I cut her out. Um, that was not so easy because of the eyelashes, bitches. Uh, <laughs> but I think I managed it. And then um, I glued this uh, cutted part um, to the next page of my sketchbook. Um, yeah, it was my luck that there uh, was no uh, picture. And um, yeah, I tried to get this a little bit flat. That was not so easy. But in the end, it was flat when my uh, glue was dry. Uh, yeah, it looks... Uh, okay, and then I glued um, the hair of my reference picture to it. I printed it in black and white with my printer, um, a normal um, printer, it's no uh, special uh, tool. And then I um, added those little hair details with my uh, black pen. And yeah, this step, oh, 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 uh, I wanted um, this illusion um yeah i wanted that it has more depth and more uh, things where you think huh is that realistic or what is it so i decided to um draw those little hair over the um wing of the butterfly but then i was not very happy <laughs> and i thought and thought and thought oh what is going wrong here uh, yeah, I added some shadows and thought, okay, Karen Campbell said more shadow for more drama. And then I found out this, that she needs this um, black hole there. So, um, of course, <laughs> this hole has to be black because her hair um, comes through this hole. Uh, no, you can see her hair through this hole. So that is what I mean. Um and yeah, I think when you sit on your table and you look at your own um, creation, um, yeah, you get a little bit of, a little bit blind. So my tip is um, go away from your desk, not only um, before the last step like I am doing here, but in between go away from your desk and drink a cup of coffee, sleep uh, or yeah, do what you want and then come back and I swear you will see so much mistakes, uh, you know, not only mistakes, but things you can correct and things you have, um, you haven't seen before. Um, that's, yeah, I think one of those things, um, my grandmother told me and I'm, yeah, a little bit proud that I can, um, tell you some of her tips because she is, uh, was such an amazing woman. She, um, did, oil pa paintings um yeah i think her whole life and they were so realistic and her faces in oil were yeah they were amazing okay i think i have to stop to uh, talk about my grandmother and say a very very big thank you for watching my videos and perhaps you got a little inspiration from this video uh, i would be very very happy if you try your own butterfly face and so if you do please share um, on facebook or instagram or wherever um, and yeah have a nice day see you next time bye bye